Daniel Duell with Tennis Flex here to talk about our new product, Extreme Balance. For years, Extreme Balance has been used at academies by top juniors and pros, and now it's available to you. So, what is Extreme Balance? Well, Extreme Balance is a dynamic balance training tool. What that means is it is a tool that allows you to stay on balance, or trains you to stay on balance, as you move to the shot. This is important because being and being on balance when you hit the shot allows you to maximize your power and control the shot as well as limiting your recovery time. So, how does it do this? Well, the resistance bands that attach from the hip, uh, the hip to the ankle force you to have a lower center of gravity. This accounts for your balance. If you ever look at Roger Federer, the guy's known, he's, he's famous for always looking so smooth when he moves. Why is this? Well, he's always on balance when he moves. It's strokes are clean, his movement is solid. This allows him to hit the shot cleanly on the dead run. You also notice that he doesn't get out of position too often. That's because when you're on balance and you hit the shot, it's easier to recover. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the extreme balance on. So it's very simple. The belt that goes around the waist has you know, two Velcro straps, very simply just attach around the waist. And then what you wanna do is you're going to take this little strap, and you're gonna put it around your heel, like so. Again, another Velcro strap around your ankle, and then you're gonna slide that into your shoe. Like so, now you're all set. To adjust the resistance, because remember, the way this product works is that if you're standing and you don't feel any tension, it's not tight enough. To change the resistance, you'll notice this strap in the back, adjust it to increase resistance so that you still feel tension even when your legs are, are slightly bent, as in a ready position kind of stance. All right, and now I'm gonna show you some basic warm-up drills to do with this problem. So, once you have the straight balance on, I'm gonna show you how to use it. First off, you wanna make sure that there's enough resistance in the band that standing up hurts. Your muscles will be engaged if you're standing up. Plenty of resistance. That's first off. Then, once you've got it on, you need to make sure that you're warmed up. Don't just start hitting shots with this, especially if this is your first time. It's gonna, it's gonna wear you down, you're not ready for it. You wanna warm up. So, to start, practice some basic lateral movement, forward movement, maybe back pedaling. Just simple stuff. A basic range of motion to engage the legs and make sure that you're, that you're warmed up. So, once you've warmed up, gotten the basic set of motions in, and you've made sure that your resistance is all set, a good drill to do is to just start practicing short court without a racket, have a partner, and just toss the balls, have them toss balls to you, and move around just to get used to the motion. I've got my, I'm on balance, I'm moving, I'm engaging my legs and my lower court. And then once you're set there, then you move on with, to hitting with a racket. Once you've done that, now you're ready to move on to using a racket. Just remember, you always want to make sure that your legs are bent. Let the device train you. Don't try and stand up just so you can test your leg muscles. Stay down, feel the legs engage, feel the lower core, keep your head steady, and just move around a little bit. Basic hip, it's just a simple short core drill. Probably more important to maintain dynamic balance with your volleys than it is with your ground strokes because there's so much less of a margin for air when you're up this close to net. A common problem people have with losing their balance when they come up to volley is instead of bending down from the legs so that you're supposed to, if you ever watch the top pros, that's how they'll do it, a lot of club players like to bend from the hip. This doesn't allow you to do much. You're not actually getting under the ball, you're just bending down. What this tool will allow you to do, you'll feel the resistance in your legs again and let it train you. You'll get down to the volley, maintaining you have a strong base, you're on balance, and you can do this while stretching, and you'll have cleaner, crisper volleys. In the old days, coaches used to have chairs, and what would happen is, some, the drill I used to do, you stay down, hit a volley, and you'd recover to, sit to the, get to the chair and remain in a seated position. The idea was muscle memory to train your legs. This tool does the same thing, except it has the added benefits of training your legs, engaging your core, and increased muscle memory. 
be using a drill, you can cheat and stand up at any point. Here, it's a lot harder to cheat because you've got the resistance pulling on you. So, from using this drill, you will have improved muscle memory and you'll strengthen your body. As I said before, a dynamic balance is all about being able to hit on the run while maintaining balance. There's no place on the court where there's more lateral movement involved than at the baseline. So, when you first start doing this drill and you're using this tool, have your hitting partner or if you're using a ball machine, keep the ball machine within a limited range because you're not going to be used to this at first. And as you get better, you can expand that range of motion. And you can start having the you can start having your hitting partner or the ball machine feet sharper angles, harder shots. And again, the goal is to be able to move while staying on balance and hitting your shot. And the the benefits of being on balance while moving again increase power, but a big part of it is a decrease in recovery time. If you're on balance, you'll be able to hit your shot quickly because you're already there and you're not you're not falling off the shot. You just stop and recover back. Additionally, 80% of unforced errors, despite what people think, are caused by a lack of balance while, make, while hitting the shot. Thus, using this product will decrease your unforced error count and give you a, a greater advantage in winning your match.